but because you guys don't have yellow cards, here's what we're going to do. Uh, if you would like to ask a question, you can raise your hand up. You know what, we can just bring people up. I'm going to give them my mic. We have two. Oh, we have some cards. Oh, great. Okay. Is there anybody who didn't fill out a card who wants to ask a question? Okay, so, so stand up for me. We're going to try this. It may not work, but we're going to try it. And then I'll, oh, no, hang on. I want you to come here and take this mic and ask your question from here. Please, you need to have a question in your question or you know me, I will stop you. Okay? Here you go. I don't like giving my mic away, but go ahead. Uh, I think that the discussion about younger women and the future of feminism is a very rich and important discussion. My daughter is 27 years old. Uh, I'm biased. I think she's brilliant and wonderful and creative and beautiful. So uh, I appreciate the relevance of that discussion. However, I, I am 65 years old. Uh, I think I've been a feminist at least since I was nine years old. And I asked my mother if I could be a rabbi. And she's at that time, the only answer that she could give me that she, was, no, but you can be a rabbi's wife. And you know, of course we know that differences. And the, so the question is, um, if we're talking about intersectionality, I'm interested in your thoughts about the intersectionality of ageism and sexism, because older women are very undervalued in, in the society and have been a part of every important social movement historically. Great question. Thank you. Who wants to tackle that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you for that. I think uh, we do, a, we call our organization intergenerational very intentionally, that we're really trying to build out resources and conversations and connections across generations because it is absolutely that. That is very, very key that if we focus so much on the young people, we're losing the decades and decades of experience and wisdom that our elders have. And we need to make sure that we're respecting both ends of the life cycle. 